what is an inference? An inference is something you figure out by putting clues together and making a guess based on those clues. Did you know that you're making inferences all day long? You might not even realize it. Let's say it's almost your birthday and you've been begging your mom for a dog, but you're sure you're not going to get one. Hmm, bummer. Then something falls out of your mom's purse. Hmm? You pick it up and read it. It's a shopping list for things like tennis balls, water bowl, leash. Woohoo! And you realize you are getting a dog for your birthday. That was an inference. Your mom didn't tell you that you're getting a dog. Instead, you took the evidence that you could see, a shopping list with dog-related items on it, then you added that to what you knew. You've been begging for a dog. No one in your family plays tennis, or drinks water from a bowl, or walks on a leash. You put those things together to draw a conclusion. You inferred that your mom had finally caved and was about to give you the best present of your life. Here's another example. Since you're a dog owner now, what if you found your dog in your room? on your bed with your half-eaten math book and a very guilty look on her face. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what do you think happened here? Hmm, what do you already know about the situation? You know that your dog really likes to chew on books. Oh, oh. You know that you left your math book on your desk, so if you combine what you know with what you see, which is your evidence, you can infer that your dog saw her chance, snatched your book from your desk, and chewed it to pieces on your bed. Can you be absolutely sure that's what happened? Not 100%. After all, an inference is a guess, but it's the best guess you can make with the information you have. It's like you can see part of a drawing and you have to fill in the rest. Making inferences helps you understand people and situations better. But making inferences isn't just for real life or for bad dogs. You also make inferences when you read using clues in the text. Writers don't always tell you everything. They want you to figure out some things on your own. Let's read this passage together. Hector had a huge grin on his face. He listened to the crashing of the waves and wiggled his toes in the sand. He put his half-eaten sandwich down on the towel next to him. Hector slipped on his sunglasses and closed his eyes. It was the moment the hungry seagulls had been waiting for. What can you infer about Hector from the first line? You can infer that he's happy, right? But the author didn't say, Hector is happy. You had to figure that out. And what are the clues that tell you where Hector is? There are crashing waves and toes wiggling in sand. Hector is on the beach. But does the writer say that? Nope, you inferred it. What about the last line? What does that tell you about what might happen next? You can't say for sure, but it seems like Hector's beach day is about to get a little less relaxing.